I don't know what the life cycle of a cricket is, but I feel like they don't live for more than a week or two. Uh, Pioneers of Olive Town. Done. And we play in cozy stuff because sleepy. Done. Dope. Uh, flashing warning. I've said it before. I'll say it again. For whatever reason, my capture setup and this game do not get along. I don't know what it is, but it likes to flash. See the way the bottom of the screen is flashing a little bit right now? Yeah, it's basically that, but the entire freaking screen does it sometimes. Couldn't tell you why. Eight to ten weeks? Really? Holy shit. Okay. Uh, autosave. Confirm. I never would have guessed that, honestly. Like I said, I would have thought it would have been like a couple weeks at most. This game is so much louder than the last one. Holy shit. Yo, stream. Sorry to bug you with the crack of dawn. There was something I needed to check in with you about. Repairs in your bike were almost done, but we encountered one major snag. We kind of ran out of the necessary materials for repairs. I tried to place an order, but our suppliers no idea when the goods are going to be coming in. If you happen to get your hands on any of the materials, could you bring them over? It'd be a huge help. Post a list of materials we need up on the bulletin board. Just check it out when you've got a sec. And before it's like freaking gold, man. All right, pet the kitty. Isn't there like a festival here soon too? If not already, flies two to three weeks. So I figured close to that. Yeah, that's kind of what I was assuming too. You know, something along those lines at least. Oh man. Okay, what else do we need you? We're not going to do buckets whenever it's raining outside. That just seems ridiculous. Let's do our animals first. Give them a petting. <laughs> it's a little, like, concerning that I'm just running at them with my axe, I guess. But it's fine. They're, they're in safe hands. Don't worry. Did we pet you? Muriel, or do we? No, okay, there we go. Uh, don't bring outside, that would be bad. Collect. I have no idea what the thing over their heads are that they get sometimes. Like, other than the fact that it seems like whenever they have that, we can interact with them twice. But I don't know, I don't know why. I don't know if it benefits us in some way. I don't know if it's a bad thing. I doubt it's a bad thing. Because it looks like, looks like it would be a good thing. But I have no idea what or why it's there. Break you guys. Put this crap away. All this will go in the fridge. Chop down some trees though. I love how big of an area our axe has for chopping. I guess we can collect all these blood canyons too. We're just going to sell them, and honestly, they're not worth that much. We could turn them into food, but we have so much food. And I kind of like using the bistro, you know? Like, it's nice to go there and to, to have a reason to go there and, and buy food or interact with the villagers or whatever. Uh, so we need to put away stone and wood. Well, we might as well wait, because there's probably going to be more things we have to break. But we do have milk. So we might as well do the stuff with the with the milk and stuff. Make the foods. Uh, we have like a bunch of eggs. We probably don't need this many. I'm gonna take like 10 of them to sell because why not do we have any crops that have grown by any chance oh goodness mm, nothing doesn't seem like it that's fine should have enough money now it looks like to buy two more 
sets of crops. There, there were three more sets of crops. The entire bottom row, right? Yeah. So we can finally get that, like, filled up, filled up. Our field that we started over here. That'll be nice. And then once we get that entirely filled up, next thing is unlocking the new area. And then... Honestly, after that, I don't know. Maybe upgrading our house again should be the next thing. At least for right now, I don't feel the need to upgrade our tools, really. I feel like everything's fast enough. It's not like energy is a problem. So we don't need to, like, rush to upgrade our tools to make our energy use low or anything like that. The only time we even get close to using up all of our energy is whenever we're mining. And we don't do, like that much mining that is really an issue let's uh run into town oh trees we should probably check our trees can we okay hold on first off get rid of that because i don't want to accidentally chop down a tree okay it doesn't look like any of these are ready yet which is fine kind of to be expected sell you Is that the only thing we actually want to sell? No, we'll sell the oysters and clams. Mm, yeah, we'll keep the rest. Then this is going to show us the new town upgrade too. We kind of looked at it a little bit last week whenever we uh, finished playing, but we didn't actually read the cutscene or anything. Oh, stream, now that you're here, we can begin the ceremony. Thank you all so much for participating in the second roadway and lamp beautification campaign. Our results are in. Yay! We received some wonderful designs from you all. It was tough to narrow down, but we have. Ooh. Winner of the road category who have their design used in town is none other than Cindy. Congratulations. Love how it went from like a beautiful clear day to this cloudy, rainy shit day that we have today though. The lamp design we'll be using belongs to Mikey. Good job, Cindy and Mikey. So proud of you guys. We have many other winning ideas that will be incorporated to make all of town more fun. Thanks in part to quite a lot of you. Yes, congratulations. Quite a lot of us have names, you know. Work so hard on those concepts too. I mean, you can't use everybody's idea. Like if six different people submit an idea for a road design or whatever. Are you supposed to just have every street a different design? My apologies. What I meant to say was our winners are Angela, the general store owner with a smile that warms the heart of her regulars. The ever cheerful Sally. The eternally youthful Jesse. My, my, that's quite the silver tongue you have there, Victor. Our local ex-pirate Jason. Wait. Have we met him before? Mr. Mayor, don't nag him on like that, otherwise he really is going to think he's an expire. Last but not least, our favorite farmer whose presence makes everybody's day that much better. Let's hear it for stream. I mean, sure, go me. I mean, without me, it would literally be like, it wouldn't happen. I had to donate all the crap to make it happen. Hello. Do you like a uh, moon drop? I mean, you can have a pink cat flower, I don't know. You sell animals, so like... Pink cat makes sense. Might as well talk to you too. Uh, do you like moondrop flowers? Ooh. I mean, we have it in our inventory. We might as well give it to her, right? We'll do the same thing over here at the general store. Give you a moondrop. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're always so considerate. You're welcome, <laughs> Angela. Ah. Now, maybe give me a discount. Uh, what do we want to buy? Have we grown many potatoes this season? So in spring, summer, and winter. Not in fall, though. Okay, we're on the 13th, so we have enough time. So buy a round of those. Um, grows in summer only, so sure, let's grow some more of those. Pumpkin. You want to do pumpkins? six days produce up to three yields i don't know how often they regrow though 
we'll do tea. Oh, they grow in autumn too. So do the beans. Sure, let's do pumpkins, man. Why not? Everybody likes pumpkin, right? There we go. So there's our three sets of seeds. To do list when you get done. Find cricket, get rid of cricket. Don't let the kitties eat the cricket if it's the giant one. Why? If it's the giant one, that's just even more pro protein for the kitties, right? The summer jamboree is almost upon us. When is that exactly? Uh, it'd be nice if you like gave us a hint on when it actually happened. I know somebody did tell us at some point in game. I just don't remember when. It might be tomorrow. I know that it's soon at least. Ooh. Okay, we can talk to you people now. You like salt because you so fucking salty though? No, JK. I mean, I don't know. Maybe salt's like salt. Maybe salt's like a, a big commodity in this this town. Ba -ba 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 Silver ore. It's always junk, man. They're all junk all the time. More silver ore. I mean, silver ore is nice, I guess. We do need some sometimes, but like. <laughs> it sucks that I'd rather just dig up the silver ore than be getting a crap ton of it from these bags. So all silver ore with one cave pearl. Awesome. <sighs> Whatever. What do you need for our bike? Refined coal. Bulgarite. Okay, we found that before. Do you need each of these, though? Or just one? Because most of the time, it's like people just need one of them. But we found these two things before, at least. So we just gotta wait till we find them again. And then an olive crystal. I think that's new. I don't remember ever coming across an olive crystal before. Let's go plan our stuff. Actually... Now... Hmm... Hmm. <laughs> is how much is it for the next level of the house? Oh. Or oh god, I forgot. That's the screen that flashes like crazy. Sorry. Um, <laughs> some more mushroom logs would be nice, but shit. No house. Thirty thousand, and we had to provide the material. But it's all level of stuff that we can get now, so I feel like we should do that before we unlock the next area, too. Because, again, it's not like we really need the next area right now. It's just... I don't know. It would just feel good to kind of get it. I mean, I guess we could unlock the next area and then do it. It doesn't really matter. Either one would be fine. Do we have room in our bag? We do. Okay. You get this stuff. Oh. Don't know how I've ran past you like three times. Do we have any peppercorn or anything that needs ground? Nope. No peppercorn, no sugar, no salt. Nothing. Plant. And then we need our hoe. Oh, we need to make two more thingies, which I think is fine. I think we have all the material that we need. And I'm assuming it probably won't let us hoe a tile that has the thingy on it. Yeah, no. That's fine. We'll just have to pull out our bucket and clean it up. Bucket. Clean you. Hoe it up. And then we need two more sprinklers. Uh, is it going to be smart enough to do the seeds the way I want? No, it's not. That shouldn't actually use it, right? No. Okay. Would have been very sad if it just, like, wasted our seeds. 
you, grab you. So we need to craft a sprinkler. We haven't unlocked anything new, have we? Doesn't look like it. Nothing that we care about, at least. We ever use wood charcoal for anything? Oh, shoot. I forgot to actually craft the stuff we needed. Okay. Two of these. Sick. So, deposit. And a bucket. Oh, we forgot to see if we could donate that. What is it? Is it a crab that we have in our inventory? I'm just going to sell it. I don't think it really matters if we finish the museum. Originally, I did want to, but the game doesn't make it easy to keep track of what you have and haven't donated. And if something's not easy, like... I'm okay with a challenge, but it's, like, annoying. And if something is annoying, then I just don't care enough to try and do it. Was there no grass to cut, or did I just, like, skip it all? Since we already collected one puddle, I feel like we might as well collect the rest and get more clay. I'm not gonna get all of them, but the ones, like, right here, why not? Ooh, and you. So everything else either goes in the fridge or gets sold. Oh, hey, Fulgurite. <laughs> cool. Okay. Um, I guess we'll stop back up at the museum after all. Since we, we have the Fulgurite, we might as well turn it in and see if it does the thing for us. When did we get the Fulgurite? Did we get it from the bucket? Do buckets get, have a chance of, or did, no, because if we already had the Fulgurite, it would have told us, right? Whenever we were looking at it. I don't know, whatever. I guess we could have grabbed the coal too, just to make some money. Mm, we haven't talked to the mayor in a while. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Mr. Mayor. You oh, great. Deliver. So that's two thousand bucks. Okay, and in this case it actually seems like we do need to give all of them. Which is fine by me, that's a lot of money. Six grand for I mean I don't know how common they are exactly, but at least easy, like cheap. They're cheap, right? Whenever we sell it in the box, we don't get nearly two thousand. I want to say we barely get like a couple hundred. And then I forgot to go to the museum and see about the giant freshwater prawn. So I'm just going to sell it. And now we mine. Because we always need more stuff, more, more iron, more silver. Eventually more coal. We won't specifically try to get rocks right now. We don't need any rocks, but if they're free, we'll take them. By free, I mean like within the area that we can mine with one hit. Oh, goodness. Come on, give us some silver, bro. Maybe we should be doing charge shots all the time just because apparently I can't hit with a non charge shot. Why did I even hit you? Don't. I don't want it. You just eat up inventory space. Ooh, if we get down to the uh, fishing lair with time to spare today, we'll actually do some fishing just to see. Cause I, I mean, I 
Look, we haven't gotten anything decent from fishing yet in the game, in the cave, but I still feel like there has to be some reason for it. Why else would they put a lake in the middle of the cave? If it weren't for some either secret thing that you can get or rare fish or something. I didn't realize we had already found the ladder. I was searching for it. Oh, Jesus. There's a little bit of silver. The silver is not being kind to us today. Iron. Even more iron. Just give me the thing, whatever. I can get this with this one. Oh, never mind. We're skipping that rock. We don't need that one anyways. Did we already find the way down? Is it over here? It is. We're not rushing for the bottom, so... I guess we're kind of trying to get to the fishing one level, but only kind of. I'm not that worried about that even. We're gonna take our time with it. You're a dick, Mr. Mole. Glass rock and raw diamond. I think the diamonds would be a little more rare. We've collected a fair few of them. I'm surprised nobody's opened up a diamond mine in town. Oh, that's the ladder. Uh, I can't go down without hitting something. Smack! Here we go, level 10. You guys can go down here, and then, because I just want to be able to see the fishies that we catch. Move everything else out of the way. Give us the fishing rod. Fish! Seems like a pretty basic fish, man. I don't know. A dace. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's the same damn fish that we catch up top all the time. A basic one at that, a very basic one. Like, how did these dace even get down here? How do they live in these caves? There can't be no sunlight down here. Speaking of, how is it so bright down here? There ain't no sun or anything. Here we go, this one's at least a little harder to catch. There should be something different. An eel. I'm pretty sure we've gotten eels before. Don't think that's anything new. Okay, you're something. Probably another eel. Hmm? I don't know. It actually seems a little harder than an eel. Maybe something new new. A shrimp. Oh, a crayfish. Why is a crayfish so hard to catch? You would think crayfish would be easy. They're small. They weigh like next to nothing. That one was easy. Maybe it's related to the number of stars then. The last crayfish was like a, what, six star, seven star something? Ooh, this is a two exclamation mark fish. Could be a shiny fish, a shimmering whatever. Sparkling, that's what it's called. Well, we've gotten plenty of them before. They're good money though, real good money. Last fish, come on, be something good. It's only one. 
It's a hard catch. What are you gonna give us? What are you gonna give us? Prawn? It's a prawn. Or a crayfish. Whatever. They look the same whenever they're being pulled up. Leave the mine. Deposit our goods. And go to bed. In game and IRL. Might as well collect and throw more stuff in here though. Since we out here anyways. Uh, all of you go in here. Do we have any wood? We don't. We do have some glass. I don't know what we'll be doing with raw diamond. Uh, okay, we have like a miscellaneous gem chest. That makes sense. Our single clay that we collected. I forgot we had some really good presents. Uh, we were going to save those though, because the really good presents we were going to try to give people on their birthday. Just in case it does make a difference in this game. Don't know if it does or not, but... I forgot about giving you a treat today. Oh well. Can we see, like, relationships with the animals? Autumn 25, Autumn 3rd. Okay, so both of the people that we're somewhat interested in, their birthdays are next month. Summer 28. I mean, you're okay. I don't hate you. I mean, most of the, like, bachelorettes and whatnot seem okay. Oh god, a lot of you aren't even from here, though. It's like, I don't remember what town you guys are in. you're in the other town so okay so you're probably a bachelor up enough from here mm. I'm assuming any of the ones that say mother we can't be <laughs> uh, we can't marry is it the color of the hearts I think it maybe it's the color of the hearts the red ones are bachelors and bachelorettes the orange ones aren't so there's you and you Damon. I'm surprised Beth isn't a bachelorette. Yeah, really, it's just like Bridget, Blair, Raina, Lynn, which I mean, I guess is like all of the, the women outside of the DLC. Oh, and then Laura. Laura? Laura? I don't know how to pronounce her name. I guess it's not that bad. Maybe the... C does the color mean that? Because, like, Mikey's definitely too young. Is that orange or red? That's orange. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. And you're orange. It's really hard to tell whenever there's that little in the heart, I guess. And then all of you people from the DLC, which... Like, no. Not gonna deal with that. Bridget by far is like our one that's farthest along though. But if we can remember to give them something on their birthdays, I'm, I'm assuming that'll go a long way to helping us get friendly with them. And we should probably try and do that in general, but with them especially. And it is tomorrow is the festival. Okay. Oh, we can see, like, our animal stuff. Do our animals love us? Oh, it doesn't tell us that, actually. Lame. Oh, that's what I actually came into the menu for. I just kind of completely forgot. Whatever. All right, bedtime. Collect a little bit of money from the fishies. Two and a half grand. Not terrible. We spent a lot more than that on crops, but it should... Should be worth it in the end. And then just for my own curiosity, anything happening tomorrow? They're probably going to come out and tell us about the festival, right? No, they don't. Okay. I thought they would, like, come and remind us or something, especially since it's the first one. Do we have any harvests? 
we got nothing. Uh, we got some. We got some fodder. That's uh, <laughs> that's what we have to look to look forward to tomorrow. And that and the festival, of course. That's that's something. The festival is, you know, that's cool. Anyways, guys, that really is it for tonight. I'm tired as so. hell. Have a good night, guys. Thank you for coming and hanging out. I should be live tomorrow to play Pokemon Red Nuzlocke, my first one uh, that we're slowly but surely making some progress through. Having a ton of fun with it, too. So I'll see you guys then. Have a good night, and as always, be kind to each other, y'all. Bye. In a second. I gotta hit the thingy. There we go. Wait, no. Bye. There. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Here before we lose 3 MP. Nice. And Eraser is dead.